<laughs> Hi! Get settled into the space that I have created for today's interaction. It's been a while since I've been here in this space, in this in this space that I used to come on to often. And um, today I feel very inspired to create a video in which I use my voice to express the uh, transmissions that I usually channel and share with you guys. Um, this time I feel very inspired. I feel very structured and organized for today's reading, which is really good. I like to have my my um, I like to have my station clean and organized, so it feels really good. This reading already has um, pretty, pretty settled and balanced energies. I'm already feeling very comfortable and um, just straight to the point. I'm just excited to speak, so I'm just going to go ahead and get straight into this. Um, I do want to give a little bit of an update of where I've been as a person, just because I feel that um, a lot of you might be able to relate to my situations as a human being. and. Um, might find value in the way that I've been coping and handling little obstacles that I face here and there within my personal um, spiritual awakening journey. And not only that, but just being human in general is an experience of its own. So, you know, it's kind of, I feel that it's healthy to speak up on things that not everybody likes to speak about. And that's like obstacles and difficult things that we face as human beings. Especially now in this time, I feel like people my age that can, you know, if you're watching this, you're most likely around my age and you follow me on some form of social media. You found me some way, somehow. So... Yes, I feel that, you know, it is important to share from personal experience because I feel that when you share from personal experience, you you share a, a frequency that touches others because it is, it is felt. It's not just, you know, you don't just give your opinion on how you feel about a certain situation, but rather you share the way that it happened for you and how you moved yourself outside of the situation, whether you had to move yourself outside of the situation or if you had to heal through the situation, whatever the case was, I feel that it's really important to share um, from personal experience. And so one of the two things that I wanted to share with you guys before I just jump into this reading was um, the the awareness of the attention basically the the art of focusing on your mental health and i feel that mental health it is so like it could be so ignored you know you don't really you don't really see your mind with your physical eyes you can't really see inside of your head and see that you know you have a mind going on you have a brain that you know that creates thoughts and stuff you just kind of you just kind of know like it's just kind of like okay yeah it's just part of being human you know that you have those abilities but you know it is very important to um, keep up with those aspects of yourself as well. So, you know, you know how you focus time on being on being fit. So you focus on your physical health and you work out and you lift weights to gain muscle and to gain strength in your arms and legs. And if you want to, you know, you want to have a good digestive system, then you eat healthy foods and you drink water to help your health and your immune system stay aligned with those thoughts that you're having about, um, you know, wanting to stay fit and wanting to be good. And, and some people can be good up to certain aspects, you know, they're aware of their immune system and how if they eat healthy, they contribute to their health. And so they focus on that and they invest into themselves in that manner. Some people are aware, you know, okay, well, I look like I'm making progress when I'm when I run or when I do certain movements with my physical body. Therefore, I will keep doing that to keep seeing these progresses. But it's really hard to become aware of, you know, the importance of taking care of your mental health as well and that's because not everybody speaks about it and it's not something you hear you see on you know being promoted on television or online or anything really it's kind of just you know it's kind of those things that we know are there but we don't really talk about and i feel like that's what i've been really like wanting to focus on within myself because I wasn't aware of these things either before I, you know, before I decided to just turn my attention to focusing on mental health. And um, I will be making a separate video on um, my, my, my specific techniques of what I do when I um, 
begin to fall into you know like spirals spirals of <sighs> depression depressive thoughts and you know self-destructing like comments to my actions and or when i just begin to feel like out of like lack of inspiration lack of wanting to create anything i just feel like there's no purpose there's no point and it's this doesn't happen to me often it used to happen to me very often i used to identify with depression and i used to you know just i used to have this cloud in my mind all the time and if i didn't have it i would create it because i was just so used to being in that mental state and um i really want to make a separate video on that just wanted to come here and just bring that awareness to you guys to just really focus on mental on your mental health and incorporate you know bringing awareness to that aspect of your vessel of your human self into your daily routine into your daily into your daily life consider the way that your mind is functioning for you and the way that it's serving you also in the ways that it's not every day in your life so that you can see and you can become aware of any repeating thinking patterns repeating you know idea patterns anything habits that you that come that arise from the mind because it's just such a program you just become so used to it you don't even see it anymore and yeah i will definitely be making separate videos on about on those aspects of healing just because i feel that that needs to be really spoken about and so that's kind of where i've been just been focusing on the way that i handle myself mentally and emotionally and the way that they both connect it's just it's a different world when you dive deep. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. I've been talking for six minutes. Um, and yes, I've already shuffled the cards. I have a few decks out already set up for today's um, reading. If I can have you just look into these cards as I shuffle <sighs> to begin connecting energetically. Today's reading is a energy update. What is going on with the collective? What is going on with the world? Higher self. Connect with you now. Channel these transformations for the collective. What is going on? What is going on right now with the collective higher self? Thank you. So we have our first two cards of the reading. We have here the Five of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so I heard that we're working on balancing financial stability. What else, higher self? Okay, so. So they, I'm getting explained the way that this reading is going to work. Um, I'm going to bring out certain things that all of the majority of us are experiencing at the moment of now. And um, the energies will reveal to me what is going on. And together we'll make one big reading for the benefit of everyone. But first they want me to pick out these energies one by one to uh, create that sense of resonating or you know to to give you that confirmation of like th there's a message here for you and then um together the reading will come become one that's what i'm getting so fi balancing financial stability thank you okay um also i can see that a lot of you guys have been focusing or experiencing situations in which you have to uh you have to turn either you had to or you are experiencing situations in which you are required to consider the way that you're communicating with others um this could be work this could be school this could be um social media maybe you're like you know wanting to start like you, you want to just go out there and speak and you just feel you know this need to communicate i feel like here we are finding balance in, in healthy ways to do to do so and express verbally whatever it is that you have going on for you however this is right it's resonating for you i feel I, I see here the the like just the initiation and the inspiration to speak to communicate here balance balance is 
seems to be here the overall energy for this reading i see here that we're all kind of like as a collective there's i can see here like in the middle it's just this energy of balance and we're all coming out of this energy of balance walking in many different directions um just you know working on balance individually within our lives separately however however it is that balance is playing out for you what else higher self thank you okay yes and i can see here that um we're working towards a new perspective a different perspective i feel here that let me clarify can you clarify the hangman in upright position please can you hi yourself may you please clarify the hangman position okay take this one Okay, so this is specific for somebody. This has to do with work. And I see here that you might have asked for a raise or you might have um, you might have presented to a form of authority or a supervisor, a manager, it could be a CEO, somewhere in higher in work, a higher position than you. It doesn't mean a better human being, it just means a higher position at work or um, like an employment where you know you kind of have to ask for permission to this person you come to this person to negotiate ideas in a way like this is they say yes or no basically and i see here that you kind of have asked for something you kind of have presented to this person um an offer maybe or a negotiation of some sort and i see here that in order for them to approve this for you you had to demonstrate how hard you have been working and i see here that you have been working very hard i see here you have been working probably harder than others and i can see here that you constantly or like it's in your mind it's in it's in your near future to come to this person and say hey you know how has it been like you like a time to discuss progress within this um within this deal you i see that you've made with a with like a, this negotiation of some sort um i see here that like you you, you there, there's this there's you come forth to this person with the intention of discussing the negotiation that was set a few uh you know few moments in the past or maybe a few days in the past this there was a, something there was a form of negotiation that was set and and settled and there was like okay but you need to do this 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 and what can, we can discuss this again in another time once you've done this and so I, I can see here that you work towards this this condition that was um set for you in order for you to get more than what was like you know already established and so i can see here that there's been some form of communication or there there will be some form of communication i'm getting i'm not really seeing how this is playing out but i can see here that there will be communication in regards to this case which will but it's not what you expect though it's not what you expect what what, what you will get from this conversation here it's not what you expect it's like something different from from i can see like what you had in mind so maybe this is this yeah this thank you this is coming to you because um spirit guides are wanting you to come into this um present yourself to the situation without any expectations because i can see here that you might feel disappointment or you might feel um I can see here that you're very excited to work towards this because you see how good this is for you and this is good and you're very dedicated and focused like devoted to this and so i can see here that if for anything if for any reason everything seems to be working out for you because it's going as planned but if you hold into hold too tight onto any form of expectation if anything happens um from what you had in mind and it doesn't play out the way you expected it to it can completely 
uh, overthrow and throw you off balance from this uh, stable, focused, devotion, uh, mental state that you're currently flowing in. So you're being asked to move forward or present to yourself present yourself in this situation without any expectation uh, in regards to to this case however this may be resonating for you maybe you're expecting a certain amount you're expecting a certain answer a certain response uh, um spirit guides are really really like encouraging you to um to dis to disconnect from expectation when it comes to this and when it comes to anything in general just because when you don't have any expectations you realize you don't really need anything and everything kind of just happens for you and and it just magic in this magical beautiful miraculous just organic way everything you need is always presented to you it's just always there whenever you need it so um you're being asked to move forward in in the situation without any expectation what else higher self so that was the message for somebody in particular Happy I was able to get that out for you guys. What else is going on with the collective higher self? <laughs> Thank you. Let's see what else you want to talk about. Chariot and the Ace of Swords. Okay, so we have the Chariot card in reverse and we have the Ace of Swords in upright position. Chariot. Can you clarify the chariot card in reverse, please, higher self? Okay. So there's been some kind of pause here. Thank you. Okay. So there's been some kind of pause in a connection. And I see here that this pause was created um was divinely orchestra orchestrated to bring clarity into a certain situation within a connection i can see here that once this truth is revealed there will be more movement forward um passionate movement forward i can see here um not rushing like there's no rush but there is a there is for sure like like a like a tunnel vision of where you're going or where you're headed and this seems to be where is this energy leading higher self May I have one card, please, higher self? Oh, God. <laughs> May I have one card, please, higher self, to clarify the Knight of Wands? Will you clarify the Knight of Wands, please, higher self? Okay. I keep, I keep seeing, like, in my mind right now, and this keeps coming to me. It's this, like, emotion, this, like, sense of... of insecurity it just feels here that like like for, like one minute you know where you're going and you know what you're like what you're looking for you know kind of like where your actions are taking you and then you kind of get scared like it's this kind of this palpitation in your heart this this form of anxiety that just gets in your way and doesn't allow you to continue because it it, it, it so the way that it felt right now was like it makes you doubt yourself. It's just that doubtful anxiety that just um it just gets to you and it makes you doubt yourself and it makes you doubt like your ability to continue, your ability to make progress, your ability to move forward in this connection here in this in this in this scenario here. And yeah, and I and I can see here that you wouldn't you were not aware of this and um this is meant for you to to hear so that you can become aware of this situation here and i'm gonna explain again because i feel uh now this has made sense to you but you wish to see it again 
So there's been some kind of pause in a connection. And for some reason, I can see here that this pause has caused, has caused some form of lack in communication or some form of like this pause here. Like you're waiting for a response or you're waiting for something to happen. I feel here you're waiting for like the green light or the you're waiting for some form of verbal confirmation and um this this can okay yeah so you I feel here that you're 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 putting something on pause because you feel that you need to get some form of verbal confirmation in order to move forward with this and this is uh only okay you're feeling this way and you're really holding on this 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 energy here on pause and you're not moving forward because you're expecting and you believe here that you will be receive some you will be receiving some form of verbal confirmation you're waiting for some form of confirmation some form of truth to be revealed or to you to be handed to you in order for you to move forward here but the star card in reverse here right under the chariot is saying that this is something you're not seeing and this is a pattern that you're falling into and I'm not saying this to scare you. Do not be scared. This is not meant to um, give you any... This is not meant to judge you or put you down or bring you... Or, or bring your um, confidence, confidence down or anything. This is just to, to help you see what you're not seeing uh, within yourself. And I see here that subconsciously you are experiencing a form of um, like preventive anxiety i can see here that you alter yourself when you think of doing something out of your comfort zone and it makes you feel uh unsure it makes you feel unsure about yourself because you're not you, it's not familiar to your vessel it's not familiar to your experience therefore you think if you're in that situation what would you do how would you feel how would you react and so you begin to anticipate these emotions within yourself causing you to fall into this uh like anxiety anxious you know anxious like impulsive like reactive state of being like this defensive fight or flight type um like um sent yeah state of being basically like mood or just you begin you enter this state of just emotional like unbalance and you you, you kind of begin to fidget around because you're anxious and i can see here that it is just a mental pattern you have adapted to over time and that you be it's become so normal to you you kind of don't see it anymore which is why this is not like we feel something is not letting you move forward it's it's yourself and like i said this is not meant to it is meant to trigger you but it's meant to trigger you in a way to make you see it for yourself and help you take action upon this which you're not seeing um i really want to say like tarot can be really brutally honest sometimes because it really brings out that which you need to hear and um I feel like I should really share that, you know, if you feel triggered, if you feel angry, if you feel mad or you feel uncomfortable watching these, then that means that this it's for you and it's making you feel that way. And instead of feeling any form of negative reactive emotion towards these messages that are coming through from divine light, I say instead really think about why it's making you feel that way. If this is resonating for you, to be, if you have been feeling a little bit triggered in this, in this really, in this, in this little reading here, um, then really ask yourself why is it that you feel triggered? Because you know I'm on the other side of the screen, you're on that other side of the screen. It's like we're two different people, two different circumstances, two different spaces, but this is reaching you some way somehow. How is how is that how? You feel me? Like how is it? How is it so close to you? Where is it so close to you? Is it mental? Is it energetically? Is it a memory, an emotion? Like, how is this triggering you? And uh, really get deep with yourself in these honest questions. Um, in order to move forward, you have to be able to be honest with yourself. You have to be able to want to, to, want to see that which you've been avoiding in order to see, okay, what is going on? 
because oftentimes we can be searching and searching desperately for something to help us move forward for something for something to come into our lives and just help us feel alive feel different you know something to just change our the way that our dynamic has been playing out and all and we we wait for life to just come in and change our 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 own life you know for for things to just come in and make things different but what we don't realize is that nothing will change your life can change before your eyes everything can change before you but if you're not mindfully aware of how everything is changing you know for you and you have this mentality of like everything is life is just attacking you and you know the world hates you and everybody is against you and like your world your life literally sucks that's kind of like what you attract into your life because that's what you're manifesting that's what that's the story you're telling yourself so um it's just a matter here of really going deep within your mind and analyzing and seeing here how is it that you are preventing yourself from any movement forward in any aspect of your life it can be addictions it can be you know unhealthy habits it can be unhealthy thinking patterns unhealthy you know and when i say unhealthy it doesn't mean like society societal structure of what's considered to be healthy and what's considered to be not healthy i mean healthy for you what do you consider healthy and do you make healthy choices for yourself do you consider your well-being when you act or when you make decisions or do you only think for the moment in how you can feel joy how you can feel happy in the in the then and there and you don't consider you know how you will feel three hours later you know what i mean like just really going deep and considering the whole and everything and every decision you make towards your life that will really help you to feel more grounded and more centered not only in your mind but also within yourself thank you for that what else higher self Thank you. Okay. We have here the page of ones in upright position. And this card here is overall. Overall, there's just overall the collective energy has been focused on growing growing in many aspects and many ways some of us have been growing passion some of us have been growing businesses some of us have been growing and cultivating um empowering you know affirmations within ourselves empowering you know empowering ourselves growing and cultivating different routines different morning routines maybe we're eating different maybe we're going to the gym now maybe we're you know learning to save our money we're just we're finding different ways to improve ourselves individually and personally in many many ways and i feel that that is amazing um i feel here this the collective energy feels in these past days have it has been feeling so peaceful like so peaceful and i understand if some of you are not having peaceful reality experiences at the moment um some of us can actually be experiencing you know like hardcore like intensive stressful situations and i'm very much aware of that life is not pink and rainbows and bird flies life is real <laughs> life is raw and i am pretty much aware of that but i do see here overall whatever and however whatever that you're experiencing in your reality the main purpose of it is to help you grow to show you to prove to yourself so that you can become aware of this progress of this growth that you are embodying that you are experiencing whether you are or are not aware of this you are growing and the universe here higher self and spirit guides are coming in this reading to really emphasize that message for you and remind you that situations in life happen to us but for a reason and although we might not see the why and the how to you know we might not make any sense of why why the fuck we have to experience hard shit 
well the, that hard experience that you went through shaped you in many ways and it and and okay and it depends on how it shaped you because some people go through really hard experiences and don't make it back themselves you know they come out and they're traumatized they're very hurt they cannot get over the situation now they carry that pain around with them as a part of them and they don't know how to release that they don't know how to transmute that dense energy therefore that just becomes a part of them and and that manifests in in you know anger or this ease in the body discomfort in the body or some form of like what you would consider to be you know a negative expression of reality but that's just because it's it has been um put in the shadow basically you know it has integrated into the shadow and so you make you basically kind of like you make your shadow heavier to carry around and um yeah a lot of it does seem to be mental um like 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 i can see here like a lot of a lot of seeds just sprouting just just sprouting leaves in the minds of everyone around the collective and just kind of a lot of little things are clicking for everyone right now like little things here and there are making sense and are i feel here that a lot of us are also kind of like discovering our paths you know discovering what we like discovering what we don't like discovering who we are as a person i feel here that um because the majority of the people that i connect to on social media are my age i assume that um a lot of people that are that will watch this video are you know just kind of becoming aware of the fact that we can create a reality and i feel here that um personally i'm becoming aware of the fact that i do create my reality and every thought does partake in the formation of you know my experience and my daily experience and so i've been really focused on you know dedicating my energy and my time to the creation of that which i want to experience that life that i i truly wish to you know to live um community and just you know like abundance and peace within myself and confidence within myself and you know a stable a stable uh routine in which i can pr I, a stable routine in which i give myself space to practice my spirituality to connect to you guys and to bring light and insight because i go through these things and then when i go through these things i receive downloads and i get realizations that are helpful for my own life and i know if they help my own life then they can also help your life and so i know that at at least for myself at this age of 21 it feels like i'm becoming aware of the many many things that i've already done in my life so far and just realizing how far i've already come i've you know i've started my career and i'm following this path of devotion to the healing of humanity and contributing to you know helping the world be a better place and just expressing myself in the ways that i can to help make a change and to connect us together and to bring us together in the ways that i can you know i can't i can't save the world on my own and i'm not because there's many others who are also choosing this path and just you know is that i just feel like this is the time where we all realize who we really are and where we come to know what we like and what we don't like and we are shaping ourselves for um the rich, for the future version of of ourselves for where are, we are creating this is a time now where we are creating who we are who we are going to be in the next five to ten years so spirit and the universe are really wanting me to bring forth this this energy of just empowerment and hunger and dedication to the evolution of your mind really focus on how you want to become a better a better version of yourself you know what what are what are you lacking right now that you can enhance maybe you've been wanting to go out on a run for a long time now but you just can't find that motivation just just do it just give yourself that motivation do it and watch how good you will feel after you will recharge yourself it's like your body is telling you i want to go run and you don't listen then your body you know it just kind of adapts and it goes on with what your mind what you decide to do in the moment but if your body says i feel to run and you go and you run it's just this ecstatic blissful 
emotion just to know that you fulfilled the need that you had for yourself and it's it starts it's it's small things like that that fulfill your soul so much because you make yourself feel listened to you make yourself feel heard and you empower yourself you grow yourself and you cultivate this form of care and love towards yourself and that's what makes you a powerful just a powerful person you're not saying that if you don't already do these things you're any less powerful than anyone who does but i'm just saying that you grow confidence for yourself and you don't rely or co or depend on the compliments or confirmations of others because you know that this progress you're seeing and this this truth that you're experiencing this this cultivation of love and self-care and inspiration that you are now experiencing is due to the, the dedication and the focus and the hard work and the cultivation that you invested into yourself. So you have no other choice but to trust because this is your your results. You are experiencing your, what, how do they say it? You reap what you sow. You're reaping what you sow. You're eating your, your own garden. You planted the seeds. Um, when you said the intention you took the action now you're seeing that your manifestations are coming to reality and you're experiencing the grit the greatness and the magic of life and you're seeing how this is working you're seeing how you're just awakening to the way that you work in this life and the way that life works with your vessel and your and your essence and your experience and your mission it's I just feel here that like there's so much awakening there's so much realization there's so much like oh my god hunger for life here and this feels amazing and all of that just from the page of wands so these energies are potent these energies are powerful and i can see here how we are all growing and empowering um our everybody together as a whole because it takes one person to have this mentality of growth and determination and how can I be better and if I fall I get up and you know just you know just going and going and going and hungry and hungry for evolution to to send that frequency out into the collective and someone else will catch on to that and say you know what like I want to work on myself too and I just want to become better and how can I work out and I have this goal I have this vision to be you know super muscly and have like thick calves by the end of 2021 therefore i'm gonna work out and i'm gonna make you know you just you follow through with what you want and you you do you follow your energy and your excitements and your goals and i feel here that that is really what is wanting to come through to you guys from from the divine from the universe that is what i've personally been working on myself just my own self motivation my own self you know i get ready i started to get ready a few days ago just doing my makeup and even if i'm not going out anywhere if i'm not dressing anywhere before i would be like there's no point i'm gonna be home anyways like like why would i get ready why would i not for myself dude for myself like why and sometimes i have to sit there in the mirror and be like what what are you saying you know like like i really have to reality check myself and say like for myself i'm doing this because i love you and because i want you to look pretty today and because i want you to feel happy today and that's why i'm gonna get ready and i'm gonna dress you up and i'm gonna do your hair and we're gonna meditate and we're gonna have a good day and like you just affirm those words to yourself and really believe that and really give yourself that experience but you really have to believe that that you want this and it's a matter of just getting that in your mind and really really just stepping out of the the victim you know the the victim mentality of life is hard and and boring and i just i just i don't want to be here and you're yawning every five minutes go out just get out of that zone get out of that space break out of that bubble go out for a walk go out for a run go water your plants go drink some water just wake up and get yourself out of that funk and it's just as easy as that as soon as you move out of that state you've already won you don't even need to go out and run but as soon as you're able to get your mind from that state and shift into another you already won so that's today's reading um i'm gonna go ahead and pick out the universe has um your back oracle deck cards is because i feel very inspired and 
uplifted by these magnificent growing energies arising within the collective thank you so let's see when i am in alignment with the love of the universe peace cannot be disrupted one is is my true nature this comes, this is just confirming how I said it takes one person to have this mentality of growth and hunger for life and excitement to see what else is coming, what else is coming for our experience, what else can we create in our lives to send that frequency into the collective energy, into the collective bubble and have someone else, and share that with someone freely for someone else to pick up on, resonate with. And you know, you don't know, maybe that person was needing that motivation and that motivation was sent out into the collective. Now someone else has received it and then someone else has sparked up and risen to this empowerment, you know? So that is what we're all one. And if you see it with that, you don't see it you know you see we're all one you think well i don't want to be one with everyone people die people get sick people this people that like i don't want to get everybody else's problems but it's not that and when you see it from you can see it like that or you can choose to see it as like we are all, all one so we all move forward together every win is everyone's win every progress is everyone's progress because one person doing something right since it just it, that frequency now exists for, exists for everyone to experience so it's just a matter of dropping the ego and really seeing this planet and this world and this realm as everything connected we're all a family here we're no we're no separate from each other just because we live in different houses and we drive different cars and we dress differently and we have different names, but we're in the same planet, you know? It's like it's like you live in an apartment, you live in an apartment building and you know, you're you know, you're and just because it's different rooms, you there's this illusion that you guys are all living in living in different places, but you're all living in the same box just different sections that's kind of what it is here um you know we're living in the same planet just different districts different states we're all one human family and so that's what it means by oneness is my true nature because by nature we instantly already know there is a collective there is a together energy there is a society that's what we says we know one is as society because that's what we have been programmed to believe but society is not the the deepest truth of what unity and community is so when you're able to perceive this statement of oneness or unity or you know just we're all one if you can't really understand that that's because your ego is wanting to is making is wanting to see it logically you know you're not gonna see yourself you're not gonna see your face in everybody else's for you for you to be able to make sense that we're all one you're not gonna see everyone look the same for you for it to for your ego to be able to say oh yeah we're all one like we're all one you know you, you don't have to really make sense but you feel it you know when you say when we say we're all one we mean we're all one big family of human beings in one planet. How can we work together to raise the frequency of this planet and raise our vibrations to work together? How can we use our energies together to make it even bigger energy and amplify amplify the object of wherever we direct this energy? But it takes it takes a lot of putting the ego to the side to be able to perceive um, the world th through the eyes of of oneness through the eyes of unity because there will always not always but there will be that one person that will say well how will this benefit me you know or i don't like i said like i don't want to have his problems or deal with him it's not even about becoming one and merging everybody's bullshit together it's not that but it's about making decisions mindfully for the betterment of the whole starting now it doesn't mean that you have to live together in a group for, for you to be able to say yeah this group is one 
know that it just means having the intention of everything and any decision that you make and any anything that you put out for you know on social media or or anything you say in public or anything anything that you do just do it with the intention of sending love of sending just positive energy however like it could be as simple as just i want to send a smile to the world just have that intention of giving and sharing and amplifying the love and the light that already exists within this realm and you're already doing your part of you know helping this planet ascend into higher frequency and remember that you are the dreamer of the dream you create your reality you, I am the dreamer of my dream. And that will close out today's reading. I'm very honored to be able to come on here and express this and share this with you guys. This practice is beautiful and it just it's a great way of connecting human consciousness for you know for evolution and understanding ourselves as human beings so i'm very very happy to have been able to create this for you and i am i hope that i was able to reach your hearts and your souls and give you at least a form some form of inspiration to just have a good day to just have a good life to just choose to feel joy rather than worry and stress because you can because you deserve to simply because you're human and you're here to experience life, not to suffer life. So have a good day and I'll see you in my next one.